Happy Saturday. How you doing? Hey, I want to talk to you today about receiving God's gift of wealth. It's a gift. It's a spiritual gift. And it's and it brings wealth. It's a spiritual gift of wealth. I'm going to show you how to get that. I'm telling you what. We're talking abundance here and we're talking wealth, folks. God wants you to live in abundance. And if you think anything different, you are thinking wrong. Jesus said, I am come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. Everything Jesus did was to redeem us from the curse of the law so that we could walk in health and in abundance. And that's a fact. Don't let any unbeliever talk you out of that. Or any of these 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 preachers that that want to tell you that that poverty glorifies God, it does not. God, God hates poverty, but He loves poor people. Just like God hates sickness, but He loves sick people. Amen. And we do too. We love. I love to see people coming into my church who are sick and broke. <clears throat> I love it when people call me who are sick and broke because they don't stay sick and broke very long when they get a hold of me. Because that's what I'm doing. I am here to destroy the works of the devil and the works of the devil are sickness and poverty. He brought it into the earth when Adam sinned. But Jesus redeemed us from it and there is no reason in the world for you to have it. Either sickness or poverty. Jesus paid the price for that. He redeemed us from that. Amen. <clears throat> and he gave us a gift of wealth. And of healing, too. Healing is a gift. It's a gift. You shouldn't be sick. Amen. Say this with me on this happy Saturday. The rest of my life is the best of my life. The best of my life is the rest of my life. Everything I touch turns to gold. I am smart, getting smarter every day. I am extremely talented. Great things are coming my way. Everything always works out for me. I am a wonderful person. Pastor Jim is a wonderful pastor. Pastor Jim is the ultimate pastor because he gets results and he's available. Huh? This is the most unique ministry in the country that you are hooked up with, folks. Let me tell you, nobody <clears throat> out there is getting these results. Not like this. I mean, there's just praise reports constantly. People just, <clears throat> I get calls from people who are just overwhelmed with the goodness that God has showed to them since they've hooked up with us. I'm just I'm just showing them what God has for them. That's all I'm doing. And I'm using the power in the name of Jesus to make it happen. Huh? How simple is that? I'm not doing anything, no hocus pocus or anything. I'm just simply using the power in the name of Jesus that he gave us to use to make people live in health and abundance the way God intended for them to. <clears throat> Jesus healed all who were sick because that was God's will. Poverty is financial sickness. And we heal that too. Amen. God's gift. God's gift of wealth. Make sure you call me today when you do your offerings and donations. And please share these videos with everybody you know. There is nothing like this out there anywhere. Nothing. Please share. Go. If you're watching this on Facebook, uh, on our Facebook group, of which there's a lot of you in there now, uh, hit the button on the top that says invite. And I, I need to mention something. People have been posting huge posts in our group. And that's not what that's for. That's not what that's for. That That is for our content. That's for our content, not for everybody else's content. Amen. And I've let people post sayings in there. If you want to post something small, a praise report <clears throat> or something like that in there, we will we will post it. 
but we 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 can't let people just use that to to minister to and and to get mes their messages across to our people. <clears throat> that's our group, and that's a unique group in there, and they come in there because of our content. Amen. And I'm and then we're having I was having people from overseas posting videos and everything in there. No, we can't do that. That's an exclusive group of people who are in that group to watch our content and to watch our videos and to comment. Now, you can comment on that stuff. <clears throat> we don't moderate the, con the uh, comments. Not yet, as long as they're nice. If that gets out of hand, then we'll start doing that too. But now we have to monitor everybody who wants to post in there because it was getting totally out of hand, what people were wanting to put in there. So I'm just telling you what this is doing. But you can invite people to join that group so that they can get our content. You know, you can't post in anybody else's group. You can't post in Kenneth Copeland's group or any any of those groups. They just, they don't, nobody, nobody lets you do that. So we had, I resisted that for so long, but now we've, you know, everybody started around here, started telling me, hey, we got to start monitoring this. So I kind of went with the group here with what everybody was telling me. This gift of wealth, it's a gift. A gift is something, to, to define gift, a gift is something you give. Huh? According to Strong's coordinates, the Hebrew word for gift is Nathan, N-A-T-H-N, which means give to be given. This is, how many of you know God is so big on gifts? The most important gift he ever gave us and the most important gift ever given in the world or that ever will be given was Jesus. Jesus was a gift. <clears throat> For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever shall believe in him shall never die. You'll never die. I mean to tell you, you are never going to die. That's a fact. You're never going to die. You're going to wake up. You go to sleep. At, when, the, when the Lord's ready for you, you go to sleep and you wake up in the land of glory. I'm okay with that. Uh -huh. Just like Jean. Jean went to sleep on a Saturday morning and she woke up Sunday night in the arms of Jesus. It's been a couple years. I was just, Mary and I just flew over to St. Petersburg uh, last week and uh, spent some time with her grandkids. And we were reminiscing about her and oh my goodness. And, and they were all here when she transitioned into glory. And I mean, the house was so full of people. I mean, we had 60 people in this house. When she, we sat around and sang to her. And the last song she ever heard was that song from Big Daddy Weave that said, you know, uh, the only name, you know, when I wake up in the land of glory, huh? I will tell everybody, oh my goodness. And she woke up in the land of glory because of the gift. Now God gives other gifts. And the power to get wealth is a gift. It's a gift. God's favor that we've been talking about is an incredible gift. <clears throat> we receive gifts from our parents, our spouse, our children. We just went through Christmas. I told the people here, I said, listen, I need to buy you gifts. They said, well, we don't need anything. I said, listen, it's not about what you need. It's about the fact that I need to buy you gifts. Now, if you don't tell me what you want, I'll go out and buy them anyway. I'll just go out and buy stuff. Because on Christmas morning, there's going to be gifts under that tree for you people. I told him that. I said, I need to buy you gifts. I have this need to do that. I'm not getting up on Christmas morning and there's nothing under that tree from me. I need to buy you gifts. Now, please help me. I have that need. They understood that. 
these people around here are very wise. They're, they're smart. They understand. They understood that. And you know what? They have that same need. They have that same need. People in our church give me shirts and give me stuff all the time. God bless them. They have a need to do it. And I give them things. I take them for rides in the airplane and all kinds of stuff. Why? Because I have a need to do good things for them. I have that need. That's a need that I have. Well, understand God. He, God, God, has, we're created in God's image after his likeness. God has the need to give you things, to give you gifts, to do good things for you, but it takes faith to get it. Why he set it up that way, I don't know, but he did. But God has a need to give you gifts. Oh my goodness, when you, the, when you understand about this, the person giving the gift wants to bless you. You know, I, I one time, I still remember, years ago when we had our very first church up in Wisconsin, 30 years ago, and I, I had $100. I had five $20 bills. And I had them in my pocket on Sunday morning. I don't know what I was going to do with them, but I usually don't carry cash. Right now, I get my allowance every week. My allowance every week is usually anywhere from $20 to $30. And I give the girls at the restaurant most of that money. I just give it to them when we go for breakfast and stuff like that. Because I have a need to give them things. This, this is a need. I fulfill my need to do this just by handing stuff out. Well, here I am with this $100. And the Lord says to me, he says, Give your $100 to Marvin. Marvin was a mountain man type of guy, and he never had much money. And he, he's a great singer, great singer. And the Lord says, give your $100 to Marvin. I said, what? He said, yeah, give your $100 to Marvin. Okay. I mean, an audible voice in my belly. He said, give your $100 to Marvin. I said, is that you? Yeah, it was him. <laughs> I, I, I wasn't missing that. That was God all right. I said, is that you? And so it, it, when church was over, I took it out of my pocket. I walked up to Marvin. And I said, here, Marvin. Lord, I, said, I can't take that. I said, Marvin, here. Why can't I take that? He says, I don't take, I don't take handouts. I said, Marvin, this has nothing to do with you. This is between me and God. God told me to give it to you. Now I'm going to give it to you. Well, okay, he says. He takes it. Didn't even look at it. He puts it in his pocket and he walks away. Thank you, he says. I told Mary afterwards, I said, I said, these people don't know how to receive. So I started preaching on how to receive. From God. Well, within two or three weeks, they all started walking around with their hands out. And did those people start receiving from God? You walk around with your hand out. God wants to give. Remember what God said, I think in Psalm 81 or something like that. I don't remember the exact verse. He says, open your mouth wide and I will fill it. It's like a bird. A little bird. When the mother bird lands on the nest, everybody ah opens their mouth. God says, open your mouth wide. I'll fill it for you. Put your hand out. I'll fill that for you too. God has a need to give you gifts. And one of those needs is the power to get well.